It's your boy, Whirlwind. And uh, I have a few things I wanted to talk to you guys about. Funny thing is, is this the second time I've had to record this? My first video, I forgot to turn the mic on. <laughs> Can you believe that? I had a really good setup for the video I previously recorded. And <laughs> dumb me forgot to turn the mic on. And when I was coming to actually edit this video, I'm just like, what's wrong with this thing? Where's my set? The boom mic wasn't on. But, here we go. Hi. So, okay. Many of you I know are artists. And that's what this video is about. Some of you that actually know me, I know that um, you know that I have big ambitions about starting my own stuff and getting my characters out. Now, it's been hard because I do so much more work for others and I'm building a number of companies currently and it's not in the art field. But it has me doing art and videos like this. And it's pretty rewarding. It's a struggle here and there. And um, I see a good future in it. But one of the things I wanted to talk about is that one of my friends brought up that he felt discouraged that he wasn't uh, progressing enough or getting his art to where he wanted it, or being able to juggle the things in life itself. And I, I totally know where he's coming from. And in a lot of cases, I wanted to make this video for him and for others. Because when it comes down to being an artist, art is everything. I don't care who you are, what you are, what you believe in, but everything in this world had to be designed. And that's art. To the toilet, to Van Gogh's arts in the museums, from cave paintings and stick figures, to you and how you are in this universe. And one of the things I feel like some of us artists need to hear is that we're going in a lot of these directions in our field of creating, telling stories, getting our artwork out there to the public that we want to share with and inspire. But when it comes down to it, not everybody can do it alone. And it was one of the things that I had to realize. I was trying so hard to do so much art, produce comics, and some of the other things that I'm, I'm diving into by myself. But I came to a realization, what if I'm fated to be a part of a team? And that kind of hit me in a really cool area because I have a lot of people that I admire on Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that are artists. And even some of the artist friends that I've made around the country and around the world itself. There's a number of guys that I'm actually dealing with and they are amazing at what they do. And I would really love to work with them throughout my whole life. And some of you know who you are. And guess what? I'm open to meeting some more of you. But Here's the thing to my friend. Sometimes we're not meant to do things by ourselves, even in our art. But being able to help others is great. Now, one of the coolest memes that I saw online not too long ago was sometimes to figure out your own problems 
is to help someone else. And that comes from Uncle Iroh from The Last Airbender. Avatar, The Last Airbender. And I think that's where I've been trying to uh, go about it all. The guys that I've been talking to, I've been, I, I'm, I've been enjoying helping them and brainstorming with them and, you know, just creating with them, drawing with them, getting to meet some of them or talking to them online. I'm, you know, talking to people from Brazil, France, Egypt, people in my own, you know, country, my own state, even three states away. And not all of them are artists but they're still creators written and just ideas so one of the things that you could do to help others and sometimes this can come off as selfish but helping others in areas that they need help in that you may be you know progressively better at could be a great thing of charity to actually put in the efforts Sometimes I can win you life partners and do this out of the heart instead of just seeing that this is an asset. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with that, but don't go into it thinking that you're going to be this amazing team. If you gain these people that you would like to have help you think of it as a brotherhood, a family, and y'all are all in it together and that is something that is really special so I wanted to kind of get this out to you and I'm gonna actually deliver this one directly to you before I actually post it live and I'm talking to the friend of mine that has been having a hard time listen life is hard You're my age, and I, I know you probably know about YOLO. But that's the thing. Don't ever feel like you're too old for something. Don't ever feel like things are too late. But to help gain the things that you desire is to put in the efforts where you can. Try not to stress yourself out, but also be able to find the people that can help you be able to help those that need help as well. Look, it doesn't matter if you're having issues with your art or your writing, but do what you can to ask questions, talk to people that you admire, grab their attention, you know, put some effort to show that you care. Caring has to be first. And one of the things about art, we all want to share. But it seems like sometimes we want to be too by ourselves. So kind of just take that in and uh, roll with it. But remember, live life. Enjoy it. I have my struggles as well. And I've been working on Skylar for 11 years. I think some of my journey is to still find that team because I have big plans and I have a lot of things that's coming up in my life that I see is going to be amazing and one of the things about me wanting a team as well I don't want to hold the glory by myself I want to share it I've never really liked being a lone ranger I need a Tonto or many of them so, think about it. That's what some of these big companies do. They have, you know, teammates. Yeah, they're hired, but when you work longer together, you build a better bond and you grow with each other and you come up with these amazing ideas. This is exactly how Rooster Teeth got started. Stanley, Ditko, and, and Kirby. Dude. They put their teams together. Same with Walt Disney. Why can't we? Independent artists. Think about it. Think about the things you could strive if we all 
helped each other out a little bit more. Yes, money, money is a thing. We all need money, money is a tool. But sometimes if you work together, maybe you can make more money together. Just a thought. There's always something in there that can always cause some problems due to differences in opinions or lifestyles. But when you're friends and you want to really work with each other, you'll figure it out. It's just like I'm working on these things with the guys that I'm working with. And I want their dreams to come true as well. Anybody that works with me is willing to put up with my silly behind. <laughs> I want to also give them the things that they want or help them get there. So, hopefully that little bit of message uh, is inspiring because I think these are some of the things that I had to dive into from my own mind and everything. So, yeah. Anyway, you all take care and uh, let me know if you like this video and I'll do more because I think me telling you my philosophies and the things I believe in when it comes down to art and producing things, some of you might like it and get something out of it. It doesn't hurt to try, and I'm willing to try more. <laughs>